Hello and welcome to African Farming. My name is Batamilin Mudutwane and today we're at Johan Erlach's farm, situated between Machalisburg and the Rustenburg area. We are approaching winter, which means that there are certain issues that farmers should look out for. To help me discuss this is Dr. Tapelo Magai from Elanco. Dr. Taps. Yo, Tabi, how's it? Uh, I'm good and you? Good, man. Dr. Taps, we're moving into winter. That means that most animals are pregnant by now. And obviously there are issues or challenges that farmers should look out for during this time. What are some of those? Okay. So I want us to start right at the beginning where we're talking about nutrition. You know, we're coming from summer where the animals were out in the felt grazing, it was nice and green. But now because we're moving into winter, the felt are, are not so great. But one of the other things that we need to consider or farmers need to consider is to do the deworming program, to clean out the animals just before we get into winter. Now, the reason why we want to clean them out is that we have a particular issue around uh, what we call uh, a liver fluke, which is an internal parasite. Liver fluke? What, what is that? Yeah. So liver fluke, it is an internal parasite. Uh, so, so essentially, it, it stays in the liver, moves towards, towards the bile duct, or kaharanyoko. So this liver fluke, we call kaharasibiti sadipofor. Kaharasibiti. So which means that this liver fluke is actually sucking blood from the animal. Basically, the eggs of, of, of this liver fluke, uh, the whole life cycle is finished up in the snail. Now the snail, when it lays its eggs, you know, the eggs of the, or the larvae of the liver fluke moves up on the grass where the animals are grazing. The cows ingest the grass with the eggs. It's in the stomach, moves into the liver, and then into the bile duct where they'll be sucking blood. What are the symptoms of an animal that's infected with liver fluke? Okay, so let's differentiate first. Uh, in small stock, basically sheep and goat, what you see is, you know, with normal uh, internal parasite infestation, you see bottle jaw. Then you know, you know, you've got some worm issues around that you need to deal with. Uh, the difficulty in livestock, in this case in cattle, you know, the signs are not so overt. How do you know about it's angor, you know, okabitsanga kahao, and then you can take Madi out to the to the lab and a laser test can be can be used to detect if there are any issues. But in most cases whereby you know you find that your animal has died, uh, most of the farmers uh, they do their own postmortems. So on the liver you see tracts that are made by the liver fluke moving towards the bile duct. Dr. Tebbs, how do you treat liver fluke and also how do you prevent it? So essentially liver flukes or, or fluke per se, you find in those areas which are very wet, uh, where there's a bit of a flay, where there's a lot of snails. So what you will do as a farmer, you will want to uh, camp those uh, areas out so that your animals don't go grazing in there. How do you treat it? So essentially there is a deworming program that you can use. From Ilanco's side, we've got Endex, uh, which works for all stages of liver fluke, you know, from the immature to the adult stages of, of, uh, of liver fluke. Now, if not treated, what impact can liver fluke have on my herd? Now, you must remember, just like any internal parasite, you know, a couple of things that you'll pick up, your animals are not feeling well, uh, they're lethargic, you know, they'll lose weight. So on the farm, you know, the production level will drop because obviously the animals, you know, they're not getting pregnant and they're sick and all of that. So production drop is very, very important. Dr. Tapps, is there more than one fluke? Yeah, actually, there's actually a conical fluke. You know, conical fluke, unlike the liver fluke, which is in the liver, the conical fluke is actually in the intestines, in the stomach. So with this one, you know, uh, what you will see this is the same you know, symptoms that the animal is not doing well, is not eating, but it will also have diarrhea that you will pick up in the crowd. Now, one of the things that you can do, you can bring in a vet to help you to do, you know, to do the, to test the dung and see if they can pick up any eggs from the dung uh, that can indicate which type of fluke you have in your herd. Dr. Tapps, thanks for your time. My man, thank you. Keep the conversation going. Log on to hashtag African Farming or AfricanFarming.com. And remember, we farm better together.
Get the necessary cover for you and your family in the event of unforeseen misfortune. The African Farming Protector Plan offers you comprehensive funeral cover for your entire family plus extended family at an affordable cost. Our product also offers benefits such as monthly discounts on groceries, discounted bus tickets, ambulance services, and trauma and assault assistance, to name a few. For more information on the African Farming Comprehensive Funeral Plan, SMS African Farming to 45269 and get the peace of mind you deserve.